fight, fight, rent, fight. Rent in New York is twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars. Right. How do you do it? Fight, fight, fight. How do you do it? A minimum of fifteen dollars. In this big landmark store that we're in front of, Macy's, whose owners are multi-billionaires. Hundreds of workers work there. You know what the average wage for a cashier, a sales associate, or a stockroom worker is? $9 an hour. And that's after several years. They basically start with minimum wage. I think that they're saying absolutely positively the correct things. Uh, in New York, you could barely find a place for anything less than $1,200. $15 an hour would equal to about $30,000 a year. And that would be just what you would need just to survive by yourself. Not with children, not with anyone else that you more or less have to take care of. You know, and New York, it's rich. We're rich. You understand? Most neighborhoods here... Most homes and properties are half a million dollars to purchase. I got a question for you because I've been thinking about this. My daughter is 34. She's about to get married to a young man who's working in a restaurant, going to BCC, trying to get you know ahead with some kind of college degree. Right. Now, I worry for this generation that you're a part of. You know, how are you all going to raise a family? What, what do you see? How do you see that? It's not much light at the end of the tunnel. Macy's is unionized, so what are we going to do? How do we get 15 an hour? What we're doing right now. For half the people in this city cannot afford to pay rent. Cannot afford to pay rent. Cannot afford to pay their debt. Cannot afford to pay their debt. Are under a system. That continually creates debt. And billions of dollars. For people like Bloomberg. For people like Trump. While me and you struggle just to get a Metro card every day. Just to get a Metro card every day. We are here today because we need to raise the minimum wage. And that affects everyone. Everyone in the city, doesn't matter if you are undocumented or not documented, you get affected by that. You will get the benefit if we get the $15 an hour. Right. And we got to say the same thing when they try to tell us that we got to accept $8 an hour minimum wages. We got to raise some hell. We got to block some streets. We got to make it so they can't, their system can't function anymore until they raise people's wages. We need $15 an hour. They may work. Union Square. Sisters and brothers, in a few minutes, we're going to walk around 34th Street, visit some of the workers, and as we pass the store, we may call on that store to pay their workers a living wage. The green workers need. The gas workers need. Taco Bell workers need. All workers need. 15 an hour. It's such a stand. It's such a stand. All workers. All workers. Documented or undocumented. Documented or undocumented. Have a legal right. Have a legal right. To organize a union. To organize a union. That a livable wage also means. A livable wage also means. That you can pay for things you enjoy. Like going out to eat. Like going out to eat. Going on vacation. Going on vacation. A livable wage. A livable wage. You do not have to struggle. Yes. Just to survive. Just to survive. No one can survive. No one can survive. On eight dollars an hour. Eight dollars an hour. In New York City. In New York City. That's right. A livable wage. A livable wage.
side. He was on half to the side. Between eating and eating. Between eating and eating. What do you feel about $15 an hour? I feel great about it. It could really help me and it could help me take care of my daughter and go on. It's really hard to take care of a kid with $15 an hour even. How much do you really need? $20 an hour, $25. Yeah. How much is the rent? $1,200 a month. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. Bless Thank you. you. In the 30s, they used to have squads who would take people's furniture and put it back in the apartment so they should have to sleep on the street. And now you have all kinds of homeless people. We have to raise the wage. We have to raise the standard of living so we don't go back to what they do to us. And just as an idea where we have to stop, they just cut back food stamps. They just cut back on employment insurance. They ended the welfare. That's what the struggle for $15 an hour is all about. No more of that. So these people, this big corporation, they are in Wall Street. And what are they doing? They're stealing people's money, people's pension. And look at Jamie Dimon. This guy is making millions and millions of dollars. We are getting sick of it. And we're going to need a revolution. Please, everybody.